What is a thought? Neuroscientists would say it's just a pattern of electrical activity inside our brains. But if I scowl or smile, my thoughts can cross a room. In fact, they're reaching out to touch you right now. How is this possible? Our brains put out electromagnetic waves, similar to any type of propagator, only much less powerful. Now you can argue that some of these propagators are not as dangerous as some of the extreme theorists propose, however, the effect of certain resonances on matter cannot be denied. There is no hydraulics at work here, only radio frequencies. The truly significant effects of this type of technology is another topic for a longer video, but if you were to say, I am harp, you would not be totally wrong. Now true enough, you do not have a large antenna array in your skull, at least I hope not, and your brain waves are nothing compared to the high frequency signals that heart propagates, nothing compared to the radio frequencies by a ham radio even. But the fundamental wave structure, and the potential to affect the universe, even if only slightly, is exactly the same. Makes you wonder what would happen if we all tried to use it together. I am especially interested in the study of consciousness at Princeton University. Now, you may have heard about the Global Consciousness Project, and if I may amateurishly summarize its significance here, random number generators from all over the planet are linked to this site, and it has been proven that human brain waves can degrade the anomalous nature, the randomness, of that number generation. Now, a precise calibration allows these scientists to determine the effect of significant events on the human consciousness of the entire world. Now, this is the real-time electrogiogram similar to raw data of an electrocephalogram uh, of brain waves, only this shows a coalescence of global consciousness. Now you can see there are different readings of significance here, um, including some ones all the way up to the present down at the bottom, but of particular interest is 9-11. Now the black squares here are the plane impacts and tower collapses, and yes, you may have heard this before, it's true. The global consciousness began rising like they have never seen before, more than five hours before the first plane hit. This is something that they're finding more and more of as time goes on. Now, spider sense, psychics, intuition. Now this is not entirely unheard of, although much muddled nowadays. Now the use of the electromagnetic field of Earth is quite common in animals and nature, and you can't help but wonder if this is only the beginning of our understanding of it. Now I must caution you in your search for truth in this genre. The path before you is rife with some self-serving, self-promoting individuals who may have valuable information, yet still only represent one viewpoint of your consciousness. Before I give my opinion, I want you to remember that your primary duty of discernment here involves separating the facts from the opinions, and then making your own. I believe each of us has the ability to affect things in the universe. Just like the electromagnetic fields and currents span galaxies and beyond, so do the waves propagated by the capacitors housed within each of us. Your thoughts right now are sending waves to the end of the universe. And in recognition of that fact, perhaps it would serve us to be cognizant of our own minds. All you have to see is this. You should realize that your thoughts affect you, how you feel. They affect others and might even be able to give us warnings about the future. For three dollars on iTunes, you can learn a little bit more about that. Now this was meant to be an introduction into topics you might want to look into further. I certainly plan to do so myself. As always, the links are below. Be safe everyone.